All right, we are returning to more of the Lost Vikings on Game Boy Advance. Don't actually remember if we need that bomb for anything, but you know, still good to grab all the things as we go by, and also good to um, actually get the other team members up here. I will say that uh, the scorpions are one of the most annoying enemies in the entire game. The uh, distance and the randomness and the random distance <laughs> of the um, shots that they spit can uh, basically hurt you in a lot of ways. Um, just, even if you have Olaf there to guard against it, you can still hit Olaf, you can still hit Baliog. You can hit anyone from anywhere, pretty much. So yeah, we're okay with that. I didn't get Olaf in here. Huh, so apparently we're missing like half of the Egypt song. So that's not cool. But, you know, it's kind of understandable, given that, um... I already forgot what is the use item button. Huh. It's maybe a minute, folks, because I legit do not remember... ...what the button is to use an item. Wow. Only so many buttons on the Game Boy Advance. Let's try this. Maybe it's like hold L and there we go. Okay. Hold R and hit B. Weird, but again, because Game Boy Advance limitations there are far fewer buttons than uh Normal. Well, normal as compared to either the SNES or the Genesis controllers that um, this game originally had. And obviously me being me, I do recommend the SNES version of this game. So yeah, these guys... Maybe I should bring all of up here, but I think we'll be okay. That up there we will definitely need Olaf for, however. So be very careful to not push that block down before you get everyone over here. Otherwise you will, um, you know, block off the uh, characters from the end of the stage, which is not so good. And yeah, the block of that, the bomb. Bombs are totally a thing now. The bomb is, um, I guess just used if you want to try and kill a scorpion with Eric. Also, totally random thing, I just remembered I did, um, I got the chance recently to play a little bit of The Lost Vikings 2 on the PlayStation. And oh my god, guys, it is goddamn amazing. Like, the, um, the graphics are not this same kind of cartoony style that we have going here. They are instead 3D rendered. Like, if you've ever seen the, uh, Lost Vikings 2, uh, not good. This is really not good. Um, <laughs> if you've ever seen the Lost Vikings 2 box art for either the Super Nintendo or... I don't honestly know if it is on the Genesis or not. <laughs> but um, if you have seen the Super NES box art, the graphics look just like that. They look, you know, amazingly badly. <laughs> you know, those early PS1 barely textured, 
barely any very round polygon. Yeah. Okay. Hold R and hit A to accomplish that. How did I do anything? I don't remember at all what I did for the first time through playing the uh, space stages earlier, but that's okay. Got it all worked out now, so... Oh, I can tell this is gonna be tons of fun- oh, that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, I can tell this is gonna be tons of fun when we get to some of the later stages that require real precision, but uh, anyways, here we have a shortcut. You just, um, pop on through here. Yeah, right. Oh, that's not good. That is super not good. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> of course, I want to just hit A. I'm going to, uh, be forever in remembering to do that. So yeah, down here we have more of these jerks, and I think there's, like, a wall you have to bash through, and possibly even a scorpion. So there's no real reason to go down through the bottom path. Yeah, there's a scorpion and there's a flamethrower wall, so yeah, don't bother with that. Just go ahead and take the shortcut. It's wonder. Dang it. <laughs> like I said, going to constantly do that. Okay, so flipping that switch does not get rid of <laughs> stuff after it has been put out, so that's okay. Oh, and the other point is that in the PlayStation version of the game... Let's see, is it this first? It is not that first. <laughs> in the PlayStation version of the game... We don't want to send him down there, we want to send... Hold on, yes. It is completely voice acted, and the voice acting is so fantastically bad. It's just amazing, quite frankly. And here we have Green Acid, which is a one-hit kill, which I need to remember to show off more of the deaths, because this game has some amazing death animations. So yeah, I will remember to um, go ahead and show off more of those. Is there anything I can do? Yes, there is. Okay. Yes. Now I remember. Okay. So then, first thing we need to do is not jump, because that is not the button pushing button. I will remember that eventually, I swear. So you gotta be a little bit more careful than that, a little bit careful getting through there. So, here it tells you, to the right, is death. You get squished. There's nothing you can do. You cannot open this wall and not die. So just open this wall and get the key instead, like, uh, it very plainly tells you. Okay. Being more careful. And we're good. I was very not careful with jumping down to the uh, floating platform, but uh, it worked out for the best. Luckily. going to really bother me with how it, um, doesn't play the full song before it repeats. Let's just, uh, get through Egypt as fast as possible. And then we can run into the same problem in the factory and in Wacky Land. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Let's get Baliog down here. Take out our, um, spear-wielding hoppy warrior. That actually worked out amazingly. And I know the, um, code here, because I've done this so many times, but just to demonstrate, it shows a very obvious breakable wall, behind which is the code for this little set of levers up here. So you hit that, and by that I mean jump, obviously. No, don't jump. You hit the levers in that order, and then you hit the button. If you don't have the levers in that order, 
say, like, so, a block will fall on your head. And it's not an insta-kill block, the game is nice to you about that, but it's still. <laughs> if you're not expecting it, you're gonna take a block to the head, and that's never good. But I'm tish. And so many of the kids won't get that one because I think that was like a thing in the 70s? Maybe early 80s when Steve Martin did his King Tut song? Like even I'm uh, too young to get that exact reference, so yeah. So if you want to jump on that and then jump away, because if you don't do that then Baliog cannot uh, you know, break the chain with his arrows somehow. And we could totally wait to do more stuff, but who likes waiting? I like to do stuff now. Carefully, I like to do stuff now. Carefully. These are the mummies. Uh, we will be seeing a lot of these over the next few levels. Eric can kill them if you're amazingly good at timing and also very, very lucky, but I don't advise it. I really do not advise taking on the mummies with Eric. It's just a foolhardy task, and because the mummies are a one-hit kill, it's just no. There's no reason to not just wait and um, let Baliog have a go at it. So, as we already know, Flame arrow. Oh, right. I need to go back that way. Flame arrow means one hit kills. Sadly, this level is almost over, so we get next to no use out of it. But there are plenty of mummies that we're going to have to kill, so, you know. Not plenty, but there are a couple. <laughs> And once again, we have him, a breakable wall, with a code hidden in it. So I'm gonna send Eric over here to be the code guy. After I send Eric over here to open up the damn wall. There we go. Let me send Baliog. Oh, 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 oh. Careful now. Mummies? I really could have sworn there were mummies in this area. Okay, there are no more mummies in this area. How about that? And I'm pretty sure... No, no. No extra... thing like that there. Okay, so. Code. This one I don't remember. Okay. Make the waves. Scales. I would say, like, Pisces and Libra and such, but since it's Egyptian, it kind of predates that sort of thing. You got the spider, which, growing up, I always thought that was a fish. But, um, no. Then we got the peoples. now to uh, the end of the Egypt area. These guys are also really annoying to take out, especially if you forget to use your sword and instead do stuff like that. There. Slightly annoying, but we'll manage. Is there a hidden I don't think there's a hidden thing here, is there? There is totally not a hidden thing. So, for this pathway, we have to take Olaf. And we carefully head down because it's acid. Pick up the blue key along the way. And, uh, yeah, merrily head on down. And we 
ahead to make use of that. And snails. And snails. And what can we? Don't think we can trap him in the corner, but that'll work. Keep him occupied. And you have to be quick about that, otherwise you'll get crushed. And you also have to be quick in getting off that, otherwise you'll get impaled. And hey, let's show some of these deaths, because I keep forgetting to do that. Oh no, ceiling. <laughs> oh jeez, ah, it's a mummy. So the thing about the mummies, due to their heavy bandaging, they are immune to arrows. There we go. <laughs> Almost save stated into a dead one way or another scenario there. But you're golden. He's been getting a nice exercise workout with his arms there, but, you know, all well and good. I think there's only one or two more Egypt stages left after this. Sandy. Around. That one we have to take Olaf for again. No real need for Eric anywhere up to this point, so he can just sit there. <laughs> take quite some doing to get uh others up to that same point, since obviously they can't uh, run and jump in the same fashion. Oh, so close. Okay, let's get Olaf there while we're waiting. There's spikes up at the top there, that's, um... Like, I guess to dissuade you from jumping up there with Eric, but... It doesn't really make much sense. Due to their jumping around, they can uh, get a lot of cheap shots in, which can be dangerous, but, you know, mostly works out. Right, so who has the blue key? Does anyone have the blue key? Not yet. Okay. Send everybody down then. Oh, right, I remember where it is. Right at the top of all this mummy nonsense. 
है I think there's also a fire arrow somewhere in here, but I might be misremembering. in the case where, due to his mobility and the placement of things, Eric does often become the, uh, I have everything carrier, item carrier of the Vikings. Yeah, gotta be careful with that one. <laughs> Alright, so... This one is for Eric. Have to hang around a while and wait for these blocks to pile up. Which does, in fact, mean that you can be crushed quite easily if you are not, uh, really careful about it. Like so. Hey, there's the, uh, <laughs> portal to the next area, so that's nifty. And all we have is one more of these Egyptian guardians. And we are golden. So, one more area cleared. Nifty nifty. idea what it is, but the, uh, Belyog's text in this one just seems really unreadable. I don't know if it's the brightness or the Game Boy Advance itself, but it seems a lot less readable than it was on the Super NES. <laughs> okay, I am going to mark a video here, and then I'll be right back to go ahead into the factory.